Actually, when you walk in, it just looks like a real, really welcoming space. I like the way it kind of looks quite industrial. Mm -hmm. I think it's so extravagant in its design that it does really feel like home or a place where you can come and you feel comfortable. We were looking at really the creative and business opportunity about bringing all of the art forms into one place to make something that worked with the grain of artist practice. The place being comfortable, welcoming, friendly, warm, feeling like home. We went through a very lengthy engagement process together with the client uh, bodies, uh, so various user groups to understand their needs and understand the uh, also uh, very much the, the technical requirements that needed to be achieved in this, in this project. Well, there, there, there's so many constraints to work with on the site and it's a miracle that really happened if you look back. We had to work with your Apple intensely to get any of those uh, situations resolved from acoustics to vibration to fire spread, uh, structural and civils. It was essential. There were a number of constraints associated with the home development site, primarily falling into two categories. The railway viaduct uh, and Whitworth Street to the immediate north and the below ground constraints that comprised basically contaminated ground and culverted river and water courses running through the site. So the key constraints of Whitworth Street and the railway viaduct presented primarily issues with noise and vibration. The solution for the performance space was to effectively create a box within a box. This was uh, an isolated structural element within the building around the theatre and performance space. Uh, the wider building envelope was protected by a series of various different facade treatments and other structural elements to attenuate both noise and vibration within the overall structure. One of the unique opportunities in this project was that Bureau Happel could provide all engineering services. As part of a bid winning team with Mechany, um, it was fairly clear that we had, a, we had a two company team. We provided the engineering and what we were able to draw on expertise as and when appropriate throughout the design process. So very initially we brought in experts in the field of lighting, uh, in fire engineering, and one, 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 one good example is the uh, people flow modelling, where we were brought in to really tackle some of the fire issues, but then we expanded it and we started to look at how the public spaces function, the linkages between the cinemas, the theatres, what happens at the end of a show. We were able to work and look how you can actually improve the input and through flow of people it's all about how people move from one space to another, whether that's within an art gallery from gallery to gallery, whether it's in a cinema and the changeover of attendees. It worked well and I think the client really appreciated that kind of level of expertise. There were clearly engineers who understood exactly what, the, what needed to be done and, uh, and, and uh, were, were able to present a variety of solutions to enable uh, things to happen. But the guys who were part of the team spent time talking to me as a non-expert to make sure I understood what was, uh, what was being proposed, the implications of that, and, and, and the way forward. In the four months since we opened, we've had over 350,000 visitors. We'd sort of planned on 550,000 in a year. It's a bit of a relief, but it's also a challenge because actually the building's working much harder than we thought it might need to do. And fortunately it does. It works. <laughs> It's very welcoming even though it's a very industrial building and it makes you want to come here and want to see what's on, see who's here and what's happening. It's really interesting just seeing theatre audiences and cinema audiences not clashing in that way. Just, there's a genuine crossover between the audiences because of the, the space to hang out. Good meeting place, just a good venue to meet friends and because it is bigger, you know, you can, you know you're going to come in and, and find a seat and yeah. I think home is a great example of a city centre community building. It feels like a space where people want to be and want to just hang out and that's kind of key really. A lot of buildings you use, you transact with, this is a real kind of sense of home which is um, unique to Manchester. It's, it's a really thing, thing of joy to see that people really uh, are, are making the most of it and really bring the whole thing to life. So. That's what I love the most really, is the people and, and that enjoyment and the sort of creativity that it brings. I think the thing I'm most proud about is the fact that, um, it is the work of my team and the design team uh, in making this building somewhere that our audiences feel has always been here. They recognise the work, they recognise the building and are now particularly engaged with what we're doing. And that's something that we can all be really proud of actually.